love for you to give a warm welcome to all the leaders stepping up to your stage to continue teaching us the way that Jesus multiplies people. Okay, well, if we haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Kwa, and I am a ministry apprentice here at Echo Church. So we're going to continue on right into point number two. Felipe started us off with point number one, which is choose a few and invest deeply. Point number two is model the way as you invest in others. Now, how many of us have, uh, remember a time while we were growing up? Uh, maybe a parent or a teacher or someone um, was telling us, hey, don't do, do what I say, don't do what I do. And um, I remember specifically uh, this, this message uh, was said, was going to my mind because, you know, some, we might have said this to our own kids. And I was remembering this party that we were at with family and uh, all the little kids were playing in another room. And uh, all of a sudden we started hearing some yelling. And I'm like, what's going on? Let's go check it out. So we run over there and we see my daughter Kaylani and uh, my niece Ellie and they were engaged in this tug of war over a toy. And, um, and uh, as parents, we at least try to teach them the concept of sharing because there they were yanking the toy and yelling at each other, share, share. <laughs> so obviously someone eventually loses. And so that person that lost was Kaylani. And so, quite naturally, what did she do next? She went over and whacked Ellie on the head. <laughs> so, Ellie starts crying. And so, what did I do as a father? I went over and I bopped her on the head. I said, hey, we don't hit. <laughs> and a perfect model parenting there. But, I mean, she's okay now. She's a teenager that comes with its own set of problems, but she survived. Um, but, you know, if we're honest with, with ourselves, all of us have had situations in life just like that where we just didn't really think things through all the way. And so that brings us to the, this, uh, this question of how do I deal with trying to be a good model while trying to invest these uh, into these few people that, that we're trying to invest in? And so in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 11 what says, and you should imitate me as I imitate Christ. Now, this is Apostle Paul. He's writing to one of the churches, and they're trying to, you know, they've just started to be called Christians, and we're not sure what being a Christian is all about. So basically, it explains that, you know, as we strive to be more like Jesus, and if we're always on that constant, constant path uh, to grow and be more like him, then we can, you know, for someone who is just starting out, we can, you know, they can imitate us as we imitate Jesus. You know, when Jesus chose these 12 disciples, it wasn't that he went to like the top synagogue in the nation and chose like the top 12 Pharisees or the top of the class uh, law students. He chose these 12 guys and they probably felt 